welcome come on in come on in how y'all guys doing today this is prophetess kimberly hargraves and i'm the founder of rejoice essential magazines also a christian author how y'all doing today we're gonna have fun today we're gonna do some girl talk um i know i said it's gonna come back throughout the week and do some girl talk so uh, we're gonna be how you doing god bless you we are going to be sharing out of my newest book empowering the new me 50 tips how you doing jerica Mobley, how you doing, woman of God? How you doing, Sarah? Yes, we're going to be talking about my, one of my new books, Empowering the New Me, 50 Tips to Becoming a Godly Woman. I wrote this book. The Lord gave me this book for the Woman's Conference next month. In Colorado Springs at my church, we have a Woman's Conference, Empowering the New Me um, um, conference. Amen. It comes with a t-shirt and the book. All right. Yeah, so, amen. So, the reason for the book, you know, um, many of y'all know my testimony as to being an exotic dancer. And the Lord got his hands on my life and cleansed me up. Now, I'm a woman of God. So, he gave me 50 things, 50 things to empower women from all walks of life. And today, I want to talk a little bit about this sneak peek out of my book. And you can get the book on my website, KimberlyHarbers.com. And just pre-order the book. I was thinking about releasing the books early. You know, because um, I was going to release it initially on the 25th, but if you pre-order it, I'll probably ship them out tomorrow. All right, because I got a, a bunch of them to ship out, and I just want to be a blessing. So, you know, so you can take the book with you to the conference if you're coming, but I will have a bunch of these at the Women's Conference as well, so I'm excited. So, last time when I talked about this book, we talked about holiness, how women of God are, how women, how God is calling us to holiness. Amen? So, we talked about that. So, today we're going to talk about strength. All right, so God wants his women, amen, to be women of strength. He doesn't want us to be weak. You know, even though we we may be more frail than a man, amen, he wants us to be women of strength. Listen, you know, some of the things that we have gone through, I know about, I know me, it has made me stronger, amen. Some of the things you have went through, heartaches and hardships, it has literally made you stronger. It has literally birthed you to have a, a, a stronger prayer life, amen, stronger intercession, you know, sh sh seeking the face of God. So, therefore, when the enemy try to come in, you know, you're strong, amen, and you're, you're, you're bold and you're able to look the enemy in the eyes and say, Satan, get thee behind me. You know, you're able to stand up and say, I'm not going to fall apart. I I'm going to believe God. I I'm going to trust God with every fiber of my being. Amen. So today we're going to talk about strength and I'm going to pray and I might prophesy to a few people. Um, Taniqua, still looking for Taniqua. Um, what's her name? Sharice. I called her name out yesterday on Periscope and she sent me an email today. But I'm going to go ahead and give the word of the Lord to Sharice today. On this, I pray, Sharice, that you're going to watch the replay. Amen. Because this is easier for me just to speak it out instead of typing it out. Amen. All right. So, women. You know, God wants us to be strong, amen? So, um, the Word of God, you know, strength. You know, He wants us to have strength. So, let me define strength for you. What is the, What does the word strength mean? It means, you know, it could be physically strong, or it could mean, you know, being able to resist. Yes, go ahead and pre-order the book. Amen, it's $20 for pre-order, but it covers shipping, and I'm going to send you some ink pens of the ministry, and I'm going to send you an anointed prayer cloth. All right, I got to make a big shipment. I got to go to the post office amen like monday i'm gonna ship out a whole bunch of stuff all right so you know what does it mean strength means to resist or being moved or broken by force listen when you're strong you know you have a stance against the enemy you're not gonna fall apart listen somebody say i will not fall apart i will not fall apart i'm gonna be strong in god I'm going to be strong in God. Amen. So that's what strength means. You're, you're able to resist being moved. That means you will not be shaken when you're strong, when you have some strength upon you. All right. So it's, it's the quality of dealing with problems, you know, in a determined, in an effective way. Amen. So that means you're determined. That means you, you know, you, you won't fall apart. Amen. God doesn't want you to fall apart when something happens. God wants you to get in the word. God wants you to seek his face. God's literally telling a lot of people today to rest inside of him, to rest in him. And that's why I like those, those arms. Amen. He wants you to literally rest inside of him. All right. So women of God, amen. We need to be determined. All right. We need to be determined. We need to be motivated. We need to make sure, hey. My faith in God is going to pay off. You know, my prayers, they are powerful. Amen. When I speak, you know, something has to happen. Amen. I won't quit. I won't keep, I won't quit, quit knocking and keep, I won't quit uh, seeking God and keep, you know, 
Yes. Seeking the face of God till I get what I'm believing God for. All right? So godly women are strong. Amen. Somebody say, I'm strong. This is a, this is a moment of empowerment. All right? This is, a, this is your empowerment moment. Amen? So somebody say, I am strong because the word of God says, let the weak say they're strong. Say, I am strong. Even though you feel weak right now, I prophesy the time you get off this you know, broadcast, you're going to feel strong. So somebody say, I am strong. Amen? You know, these women are able to pull supernatural strength from God to get them through the obstacles in life. Listen, some of the things I went through... I, I, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for God on my life, the hand of God moving in my situation and me just pulling his strength, I, I would have fell apart a long time ago. But you cannot fall apart. You know, the first thing in the natural, people want to do, they want to cry. You know, listen, sometimes, you know, it's not time to cry. It's, sometimes you do have to cry, but well, as you cry, you need to speak the word and be praising God and be praying something out your mouth, the word of God. You know, one, one of the first time, the first things that people want to do, they, they want to say, oh, I quit. Oh, I can't do this no more. Oh, gee, you know, I just give up. Listen, I prophesy. Your language is getting ready to change. Amen. Your whole language is going to change. I prophesy that your whole mindset is getting ready to change. Amen. If you receive it, say, I receive it. That's right. I receive it. Amen. Tanika was already in the spirit. Say, I receive this thing. And I start to feel God really strong. My God. You know, during my wilderness season, listen, you're looking at somebody. I'm from North Carolina. And, you know, I, I, I was, I've been in the wilderness for three years in Colorado, and I couldn't leave the state of Colorado because I was a, a bad, you know, I did some bad stuff, so I was on probation for like two years, and then I had to repent and get my life back together with God, and, you know, during that process, you know, the Lord cleansed me up, changed my life, you know, put some anointing upon me, all right? So, you know, I've been through some things, amen? But during all the craziness and the storms and the tribulations, you know, the hand of God was on my life, and I, I, I stayed strong in God. I said, okay, God, you know, I, I did some bad things, so therefore, I need to, you know, uh, deal with the consequences. And that's a word for somebody. You know, you did some crazy stuff, so therefore, you got to deal with the consequences. You know, people don't want to tell you the truth, I, I, but, you know, I'm so transparent. I don't care what you think about me, you know, and we got to deal with the, the consequences. If you go out there and you break the law, it's a possibility that you could get arrested. It's a possibility that you had to pay back some restitution, amen? So I'm going to be honest with you. I want to help you, amen? But during the time of me just being on probation, you know, I, I found strength in God. And I said, okay, God, you yeah, had some crazy things, but this was my wake-up moment. This is my wake-up moment that, hey, God, I need to mature. Hey, God, I need to get my life on track. And that's exactly what happened, all right? So I found strength in God. All right, I felt strength in God, and no matter what the enemy tried to do, no matter what he tried to do to, to destroy me, my character, listen, God changed that thing around. You know, when people initially want to say something bad about you, they had to come back and apologize. They had to come back and be like, man, you are a woman of God. Man, you, you did change. Listen. That's a word for somebody. I prophesy, you know, that apologies are going to come forth because people have said some things about you, but the hand of the Lord is upon your life, and God will make your enemies your footstools. God will make your enemies come and apologize to you. Amen. So that's what happened in my life. So during my wilderness season, I was strengthened by the Almighty God. Amen. I was strengthened. You know, during the weak times of my life, the weak moments, you know, I was actually you know, I, I was actually the strongest, you know, I was actually the strongest in God, all right, it's like, listen, a lot of people can relate, you're, you're in a situation, and, you know, you feel weak, you feel, you feel discouraged, but that, it seems like that's when God uses you the most, my God, that's when people come to you that's dealing with the same issues, you may be going through a divorce, but then somebody will come to you, and they're going through a divorce, and they, they asking you for prayer for your marriage, you may be sick in your body, and you're believing God for healing, but God will send you someone that needs to be healed for you to pray for them, listen, that is a great opportunity, right, for you to get your blessing, because whatever you, you know, God says in this word, you know, God is not mocked. Whatever one sows, he's going to reap. Amen. So that is your opportunity to reap your harvest. That is your opportunity for God to check your motives, for God to test your heart. And that is your opportunity for the hand of God to move in your life. Amen. 
if this is blessing you, please swipe and share. All right. So, you know, God truly made me like a palm tree. You know, I always love the analogy of a palm tree. Why do I use the, the analogy of a palm tree? Because during the hurricanes, you know, think about it. The palm trees are blow down to the right to blow down to the left but they're still standing at the end of this thing amen i prophesy that you're getting ready to you're going to be like the palm tree amen you may have lost your job people may have turned against you my god you may have got some bad news things may not be coming the way that you wanted to come but listen to me you're like the palm tree amen receive it i need some people to lift hands and receive it i feel god in this place i feel the fire of god coming in this place amen you're getting ready to be like the palm tree my my God, you would not be shaking. That's right. I like those emojis, those palm trees emojis. Everybody put palm tree emojis up in this place. Listen to me. You're getting ready to be like the palm tree. Amen. Listen, some of the things the enemy has tried to, to knock at you, to, to throw in your pathway. It, it, it could have, it, it should have knocked you off course, but God said, daughters, I'm giving you strength today. Daughters, I'm making you mighty in my presence today. Daughters, you know, I need you to lean on me and trust in me because I am the God that's giving you strength, supernatural strength, says God. I'm giving you supernatural strength and you will not fall apart. Amen. He says, as long as you seek me, as long as you keep your eyes on my son, Jesus Christ, you will not fall apart. Receive this word today, people of God. Receive this word today because some people right now you're watching me and you are on the verge of suicide but that breaks off for you some people that's watching me you've been overly depressed you've been chronically depressed but that depression breaks off for you in jesus name some people watching me right now you know you felt isolated you felt lonely you felt forsaken but that breaks off for you in jesus name amen it's time women of god hallelujah to be women of strength, amen, and say, God, this thing hurts, God, I don't understand it, but God, I just thank you, Lord God, I give you praise praise Jesus. Woo! Amen. That I'm getting I'm 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 strong in God in the power of his might. All right. So, listen. All hell launched out against me. Listen. All hell launched uh like hell literally when I accepted the call of God on my life. You know, it seemed like all hell just Woo! Just try to come against me. You know, finances were attacked. I lost everything. I used to stay in a five-bedroom house. I lost everything. Now I'm in a one-bedroom. But at the end of the day, I said, God, I'm still standing. Amen? Because I know, Jesus, woo, this is just building my testimony. Amen? Amen? Somebody say right now, God is just building my testimony. Listen, sometimes you got to go through to get to. Amen? You got to go through some things to get that blessing, to get that harvest. But at the end of that thing, you are stronger. Amen? You are stronger. Somebody needs to know that you're going to come out this thing with some strength upon you, with some anointing, with the, the presence of God on this thing. Amen. God is literally building your testimony. Amen. It's not the time to be embarrassed. not the time to be ashamed. I break shame off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree boldness upon you in Jesus' name. You're going to be bold. You're not going to care what people think about you because you're going to be like, man, I went through the fire. I went through the furnace of affliction and God is with me. I didn't fall apart. So therefore, I'm not going to sweat the small potatoes. Somebody put that up there. I will not sweat the small potatoes. I will not let the little things, you know, make me fall apart. Okay, somebody don't like me. Okay, oh well, Jesus. For I, for every one person that don't like me, God will send me 10 people that will like me, 10 people that will support me, amen? You know, so what? If, you know, the enemy's trying to get in my family and cause crazy things, you know, I decree and declare that I am a woman of God and my words and my prayers are powerful. Amen. This is a word for somebody. My prayers are powerful. So when I decree such a thing, the word of God says it should be established and the light of God will shine upon all of my ways. Amen. That's right. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small potatoes. God is calling you to get up. Amen. I feel faith arising right now. Some of you start to feel fire. Some of you start to feel that anointing. Amen. And listen. Oh my God, that's right. My God, somebody's knee on here is hurting right now. If you, if it's your right knee, I don't know who you are, but the fire of God is on your right knee and God is healing your right knee. God is healing your right knee in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing today in Jesus name. My God, God is powerful. Listen for Philippians four and 13. This needs to be somebody's declaration. Philippians 4, 13, we should know this by heart. Come on now, we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens us. We can do all things. You know, God is challenging your faith today. God is, you know, strengthening you today. Amen. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Listen. 
Don't let the enemy tell you you're not going to make it. Don't let the enemy tell you you're a failure. Do not let the enemy tell you it's never going to work. Do not let the enemy even use people to tell you you can't do something when God said you can do it. When God gave you an, uh, an idea in a C-type form. Many of y'all watching me today, God has been speaking to you. God has given you an idea to change the course of your life, but you're scared because you hear the those demonic voices in your mind, those negative influences around you saying, oh, it's never going to work. Oh, it's not going to work out. When the word of God tells us in Philippians 4.13, we can do all things, not some things, but all things. Come on now. Come on through Jesus Christ that strengthens us. Amen. So you need to know, hey, somebody need to say, I got God on my side. As long as you got God on your side, I'm telling you, you're going to make it. As long as you got God on your side, you're going to succeed. Why can I say you can, you're can? you going to succeed? Because the word of God says, you know, God is the Lord that teaches us how to prosper. Uh, prophet, amen. He leads us on the way we should go, amen. What does that word prophet mean? You know, P R O F I T. What does that word mean? That word, that word means success to succeed in life. Listen, God will give you an idea to succeed, amen. He will give you an idea to change the course of your life. That's right. You have God on your side. You're gonna make it, baby. Woo! You're gonna make it, Jesus. Come on now. All right. So, women of God, women of strength, you know, I prophesy each and every one of you listening to me today, you're women of strength. Amen? All right? You are women of strength. And you recognize that God is your source. Amen? I recognize God is my peace. Jesus is my peace. Amen? I, I thank God for his presence even now. How many of y'all feel God's presence on here? I feel God's presence. I feel his anointing. And I love that. I love feeling his presence. Amen? Every day. I can't live without his presence. Amen? That's my peace. Amen? Some of the things that I went through, you know, I should have been in a mental institution. I should have lost my mind. Amen? Before I, re before I even knew who I was in God. God, I was in the suicide war twice, but the hand of the Lord got on my life and I recognized, hey, you know, my identity is in Christ Jesus. Man, I recognize Jesus is my source. He's my peace. Amen. So I, I can't fall apart. Amen. Because God is with me. Amen. All right. So women of God, we need to recognize that Christ is our strength. Is this blessing you say? This is blessing me because this is your hour. Uh, you know, I hope I don't go an hour, but this is your moment of empowerment. Amen. This is your moment of empowerment. If this is blessing you. If it's helping you, say this is helping me. Amen. That's right. I'm nothing without Christ. Listen, when I, I, I feel the breakthrough, a lot of y'all getting ready to get a breakthrough. A lot of y'all getting ready to get some manifestations. Why? Because faith is here. This is the atmosphere of faith. Amen. This is the atmosphere of faith. And so, some things that have been stagnant, that's going to break in Jesus' name. I decree it. In Jesus' name, those closed doors, I prophesy, those th closed doors are getting ready to be open now in Jesus' name. Amen? So, you know, these women know that deep down inside of them, no matter what they face, listen, this is going to be all of you guys. If you're not there already, I prophesy, you're, 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 you're on your way in Jesus' name. All right, so we recognize, we need to recognize that, you know, no matter what we face, God is going to bless us to overcome all obstacles. Somebody put that up there today. Right now, God is going to bless me to overcome all obstacles. That is powerful. I need you because you're prophesying to yourself. Amen. You're prophesying to somebody else. Matter of fact, I dare somebody right now to hashtag somebody. Amen. To, to, to tag somebody and say you're going to overcome all obstacles. You're getting ready to overcome all obstacles. That's right. That's right. Because somebody needs to hear this. Because somebody feel like, God, I'm in over my head, God. I just don't know what to do, God. I got an emergency situation, God. And God, if you don't help me, God, whoo, it won't get done. But I want to encourage each and every person on here that God is so faithful. Listen, as long as you obey God, amen. And this is the word of the Lord I want to release, but I'm going to come back later. And I'm going to really, 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 really break it down. But God wants me to tell the people in the body of Christ, it's going to happen. I'm going to say that again. He wants me to tell the people of God, in the body of Christ, it is going to happen. Amen. I'm going to come back later, and it's going to be a whole nother periscope. My God, a whole nother broadcast. Amen. So listen to me, people of God. How you doing, woman of God? Joanna, how you doing? Listen, you're going to make it. You are going to make it. See, women of strength, Women of strength, I prophesy each and every one of you are women of strength. You know, you're, you're, you're going to face all limitations. 
Amen? Listen. Woo! When things come your way, stumbling blocks, that's not the time to get discouraged and fall back. No. Women of strength, they're ready to face it. They're ready to take on those Goliaths. They're ready to take on those giants. They're ready to take on those giants. Amen? Listen. You are going to make it. Somebody say, I'm, I'm going to make it. Amen. I'm going to let my, my thoughts line up with the words I talk. Amen. Listen, you know, everything in your mind that's not lining up with the word of God, you got to cast that stuff down immediately. Cast those high thoughts and those things that exalts, those vain imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. And, you know, bring those thoughts into captivity. Come on to Christ-like thoughts. You know, you're, you're not the, it's not the time to come in agreement with those lies of the enemy. No, throw that stuff down and cast that stuff back to the pits of hell. And say, okay, I, I'm only going to confess out of my mouth the word of God and positive affirmations. Amen? Because I'm going to make it. All right? Yes, it's hard. Listen, you know, nothing worth having is easy. All right? Sometimes God will give you an idea, give you a vision, give you a prophetic word, but you got to work for that thing. Amen? You got to toil. You got to labor behind that thing. But I prophesy that, you know, you're going to reap for your toil. You're going to reap for your labor. You're getting ready to see your harvest. Amen? You're getting ready to see your harvest. And that's what somebody needs to know. That's what somebody needs to know. So, you know... These women, ah, I prophesy, women of strength, all of us are women of strength today. Amen. Receive it. Amen. I feel impartation of strength. I feel impartation of faith. Just lift your hands and receive it. Receive this anointing in Jesus' name. Receive it, people of God. My God, you're ready to face all limitations and challenges because you know you got God on your side. Listen, the word of God says, I think Exodus 15, you know, it says the Lord is the Lord of war. He's ready to, to make war on your behalf. He's ready to fight for you. He's ready to go to battle for you. I prophesy every demon, every witch, every warlock, you know, the accuser of the brethren in the realm of the spirit, they're getting ready to be struck down with the fire of God in Jesus' name because God ain't playing because he has heard his cries of his children. He has heard your prayers, your supplication, and he want me to encourage you today and tell you that he is moving for you. Amen? He's saying, daughters, I just need you to believe. Daughters, I need you to trust me. Daughters, don't you know that I'm with you daughters don't you know that my hand is upon you amen listen somebody said i will not fall apart come on now i feel faith rising up right now amen and i prophesy the more you participate that's why your belly is there receive it the more you participate my god the more i'm telling you things are going to move out the way for you this is a moment of, this is a prophetic moment amen this is your moment of empowerment all right some people just felt like you couldn't make it some people you're in a scary place some people you're in transition you just don't know what to do but listen you know god wants me to tell you my god he is strengthening you today Today is your day of strength. Receive it in Jesus' name. Come on now. Receive it. So, women of strength, and I'm prophesying over each and every one of you guys. Amen. Receive it. All right. You realize that through Jesus, through Jesus, we are victorious. Somebody say, I am victorious in this peace. I am victorious in this joint. My God said, I am victorious. Amen. I am victorious, Jesus. All right. And, you know, it doesn't matter how intense the battle is because we know we're on the winning side. We're on the winning side. I need everybody to uh, to participate. Amen. I'm very interactive. When I teach my classes, when I teach the School of the Prophets, I'm very interactive. I, 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 I put you to work. I like feedback. I like interaction. Why do I like interaction? Because it's something when you interact, it's something that you pull on the mantle, the prophetic mantle on my life. It's something that the Lord will move even the more. Amen. So I need you to interact. I need you to put a, 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 a demand on God. I need you to pull on the anointing on my life. I need you to pull on this mantle on my life. We don't know what God will do when you start pulling on that anointing. God will take over the scope. People will get healed. People will get delivered. Demons will be cast out. The prophetic will go forth as never before. But I need you to pull on God. I need you to pull on this mantle in Jesus' name. Amen, somebody. All right. Come on, I'll pull. I'm telling pull, Jesus. I, I want God to move. I want to see the miracles. I want to have the power of God flow on this thing today. Amen. So listen, you better get excited. You better get excited. That's right. Hashtag and t prophesy and tell somebody something. Amen. Hashtag and encourage somebody on this thing today. That's right. Pull. Pull. Amen. So listen, we're on the winning side of, and we're not going to be defeated. We are not going to be defeated. Amen. So when the enemy try to come and try to attack me legally, 
That's when God stepped in. I remember I went to court for about six months, six months over crazy stuff, you know, but the Lord was working for me. The Lord was working for me. And the attorney even said, this is the longest case I have ever been in. You know why it was the longest case you have ever been in, lawyer? Because the hand of the Lord was moving. My God, because it's something when the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous, you know, when they begin to pray, it envelops much. You know, our prayers are powerful. The word of God says, hey, it's not my word like fire coming out your mouth. It's not my word like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. You better know the God that you serve. Come on, somebody. Jesus. So through Jesus Christ, you know, I was able to pay off a huge amount, a huge amount of debt that I owed. And my faith was strengthened in the Lord. Listen. Taniqua, are you on here, woman of God? See, I got to put this book down because I feel God moving up in this peace. Amen. Taniqua, hallelujah. Listen, God, God be the glory. God be the glory. To God be the glory. Listen, that needs to be your, your, your declarations. Amen. To God be the glory. Why? Why am I saying that? Because God says, I'm getting ready to get the glory up out of your life. I'm getting ready to get the glory up out of your situation. Daughter, you have been in a holding cell. You have been in a place where it seems like nothing is working out. But he says, just get ready, daughter, as you lean on me, as you get in your word, as you start and study my word. He said, I'm going to make some things open up to you. I'm going to make some things open up to you, says the Lord. He says, in particularly, particularly in the area of ministry, you want to see the supernatural concerning that area and even in your income. He says, daughter, this ain't the time, you know, for love. You, you're praying for a husband. You're praying for a love life. But God is saying, I need to do some things inside of you first. And then I'm going to send the right man of God. I'm going to send the right man of God. He says, daughter, the man that I have for you, you don't even have to settle. Because love is on your heart. Love is your concern. That's one of the things you're worrying about. But God doesn't want you to worry about that right now. Amen. This is, this is what God is saying. He says, daughter, you know, when I get done with you, I'm going to take you through the process. I'm going to take you through the training process says the Lord he says when I get done with you it's gonna be such the glory amen you want the anointing but God says I'm gonna make you in a, a glory carrier there's such a, the glory on your life I see when you begin to open up your mouth begin to even preach begin to even you know you're, you're, you're gonna have a prophetic grace on your life he, he says you know I see women in the spirit they, they have boxes of tissue it's literally they're gonna run out of tissue. My God, because you understand, you're gonna give your testimony, you're gonna be bold, amen. And you, I'm telling you, this is where God is taking you. My God, and this is what I see. I see the area, I see like a capital. I see like a capital, kind of like polit uh the politic arena. You know, I don't know if you wanted to do politics or you know, uh, concerned about that, but I see like like the capital, like kind of like DC or something. I see um the, the political God will use you and I hear the word like lobbyist or something he will use you in that area you'll, you'll, you'll go through uh in, in, in like um the capital or something uh and it's like government yeah it's, like, it's government that's why it could be government yes I, I see like a capital and I heard the word lobbyist or something like that so you know God will give you favor God will give you access in like uh, government um uh, type arena listen you know even I see you you know there, God will cause you to, 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 to bring order in some chaos because I see like in the realm of the spirit I see like you know how people hold those signs and they're striking like that they're, they're going on strike you said that has recently been on my heart okay praise God you know God will use you to be a voice amen because listen whenever there's chaos whenever there's corruption whenever there's disorder god will raise up a voice so his voice can be heard and i'm telling you woman of god you know um i'm seeing like seven like like seven years from now I'm, I'm looking deep in your future i see like seven years from now you know god will use you in that area i see you being really successful i see you have like um nice att attire on uh even like um like a woman of business, I, I see that uh, for you in the name of Jesus, but God will use you to, to bring some order in, in chaotic situations, because I see some people going on strike, and God will use you, you know, you'll be bold, and you'll help calm down the crowd, but I see you, uh, politics are like government, amen, I see you on that in the name of Jesus, but then also, there's some things concerning you, 
God, 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 I want to date. God, I, I want to go out. I want to date. And these are your thoughts. I'm just reading your 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 heart, your your desires of your heart. Woman of God, God said, I'm going to see you the right man. I see you just sitting with the right man. He's not lustful. You know, he's a man of God. He's going to read you the word of God. I, I just said that last night. Yes, I see it. You know, I see you going on dates to the movies. You got you and your boo, you know, um, has popcorns and eating movies. But, you know, he is he's a man. He's a preacher. The, the man God has for you is a preacher. He's anointed. Amen. He's tall and he's really nice looking. And he's a he's a preacher. And I see that for you. And I see you at this movies. You know, but he, it's, it, he's not he's not lustful at all. He's going to protect you. He's going to protect your image. All right. You know, and I'm telling you, he's going to keep you in line. All right. He's going to keep you um, seeking the face of God. All right, and this is the man that God has for you, amen, and, and even right now, I want to call you first lady, I'm going to call you first lady, because I'm, I'm looking in your future, God is showing me deep into your future, hallelujah, Lord God, I thank you, Father God, and even you and your husband, I got some seminars to do, you hear me, you have some seminars to do, you know, some, some things with um, other ministries, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I hear the word Chicago, I hear Chicago, my God, now I just give you praise, Lord God, for that. In, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, it's beautiful. Just give God praise, amen? So that's what I see. But you, I think you said you want a word for 2017. Hallelujah. Your word for 2017 is two words, go forth. Amen. I heard the words, go forth. Amen. And I also hear, don't look back. Go forth, amen. Don't hold on to your past. You know, the enemy will sin. That's that's why, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to put your business on blast. I don't do that here. But that's why it seemed like the enemy will try to send some wet guy from your past, amen. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. You're not going to go back. Don't even take the bait, amen. Don't even settle. You know, you, you want to begin to look in the mirror and say, hey, I'm better than this. Hey, I'm, I'm God's daughter. I'm going to have the best. I'm going to wait on God, amen. I, I want my, my preacher. I want my man of God. Woo! I want to go to the movies. I want to date. Amen. That's what you're going to do, um, boo. Amen. That's what you're getting ready to do. Amen. So listen, I don't know what I said, but I think I said, seek God and get in the word. Amen. Prepare, prepare. Listen, you know, you talking about you want to prophesy and operating supernatural you gotta have some word in you boo amen you gotta have some word in you and you know i'm telling you when you start to step out in the supernatural don't even be deterred don't even be worried about the demonic attacks because the enemy is already defeated amen the enemy is already defeated so you don't even have to worry about that you hear what i'm saying to you listen so the more word you have in you the more power the more sword of the lord you have in you you get ready to cut off the enemy's head in the realm of the spirit all right if you receive this i receive that i receive that there's a lady on here your name or you're gonna watch the replay you emailed me today. The Lord gave me your name. Your name was Sharice. He gave me your name yesterday. You emailed me um, this morning. You know, I didn't have time to type a long email out. I'd rather just flow with the Holy Spirit. So here we go. God filled my mouth for Sharice. You gave me the word. You gave me her name yesterday. Hallelujah. Sharice, you are an evangelist. When you watch this replay, I need you to tell me that you're watching this replay. Email me. You are a mighty evangelist. You have a call on your life. You know, the Lord is dealing with you. It's like the Lord has been with you up in the nighttime hour. He's dealing with you. Sharice. All right. He's saying, daughter, 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 you know, I'm going to cause an alignment on your life. You know, e e even your, your brother's ministry, I'm going to uh, cause you to be more hands-on in the ministry. I'm going to cause you, I'm going to give you such a burden for my people, a burden that you can't shake. Because it said, he said, it's my doing, Sharice. It's my doing, a burden you can't shake. You're going to have a burden and compassion for souls as never before and you're literally going to weep you're literally going to see people on the streets you're literally going to weep and you really want to just stop and god says he's going to give you strategy god says he's going to even cause some people they sow in bibles in your life god's going to send people to sow bibles and pamphlets in your life so you don't have to worry about the resources because it's coming all right he says daughter i just need you to step out and he said he's going to connect you with the right people um i see televangelists televangelists you know sharice albrighton that's your name you know, some tele, uh, tele, uh, tele evangelists, whatever that is, tele, I guess, evangelists on TV, those opportunities are going to come for you. I see business deals, you know, um, like you're shaking handshakes, like a deal of a business. I see that for you. I see some contracts that you need favor for God to do in your life, Sharice. Just get ready. He says, daughter, I need your 100% obedience. I need your 100% submission to me. Amen. I need your 100 submit, uh, 100, uh, I'm going to tongue tie. 100% submission. 
submission unto me. Amen. He says, daughter, I need you to be yielded unto me, Sharice. All right, because I'm going to deal with you. All right, I'm going to deal with you. And this is the season. You're getting ready to walk in your purpose in your destiny, evangelist. Amen. Don't even worry about your age. Don't even worry about the resources. Let God handle it. Let the Lord handle it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that was the word for you, Sharice. And I speak a healing upon you. I don't know if you've been sick, but I decree healing on you in Jesus' name. All right, let's get back into the book. I'm reading out of my new book, Empowering the New Me, 50 Tips to Becoming a Godly Woman. You can get this book, pre-order it. I'm telling you, it's a $20 uh, pre-order fee, but it comes with the book. Uh, it comes with the prayer, prayer cloth and some ink pens. And I'll, I'll probably ship these things out on Monday. All right, but if I have a conference uh, February the 25th is a Saturday. It's going to be powerful. So the Lord gave me this book. He gave me 50 things to empower the women, empower women from all walks of life, not just women of God. All right. So I'm going to release this book at the conference. All right. But I'm probably going to release it to the people that's connected to this ministry and I want to pre-order it just to be a blessing. All right. So listen, you know, Isaiah 40 and 31, write this down. Isaiah 40 and 31. Amen. Isaiah 40 and 31. Thank you for pre-ordering. It's going to bless you. When I say God dealt with me, he dealt with me. All right? I never thought in a million years I would be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I never thought it. You know, listen, the Lord is literally rerouting some of you guys. And it seems like you got a lot of closed doors. And that's just God rerouting you. So, for example, I was going to go to medical school to be a pulmonologist. But then the Lord, he closed those doors. And he called me into this way. He called me, you know, he, he showed me my, my call on my life as a prophet. You know, I was like, wow, God. All right, so be encouraged. But Isaiah 40 and 31. But those that wait upon the Lord, come on now, shall renew their strength. I prophesied strength is being renewed upon you. Yep, God is rerouting you, woman of God. Strength is renewed. Your strength is being renewed right now. I decreed in your life. You know, you're going to mount up with wings like eagles. You're going to run. You're not going to be weary. You're going to walk and you're not going to faint. Listen, the women of strength, you wait on God. These women wait on God. You know, you know, they're, they're cautious not to go ahead of God. They are cautious not to move ahead of God. They're going to say, God, I'm going to pray about this. I'm going to pray about everyone and every connection. Because God needs to be in your will, God. God, I can't mess up. You know, they allow God to direct their every path. Who am I prophesying to today? Amen. If you're not like that, I prophesy this getting ready to take place in your life. This getting ready to take precedence in your life. You know, during the dark, even during the darkest times, these women, they rest in God. They are resting in God. My God. Amen. I need you to receive this word. All right. So even at the dark times, even at the darkest moments, God is renewing your strength. Amen. Some people say, I'm not going to make it. I'm a failure. God is renewing your strength. See, God is supernaturally causing us, not prophesying. Amen. You know, some people feel like you're not going to make it. I prophesy a come up. I prophesy some soaring through some adversities. So, Amen. Women of God, amen, women on here are prophesied. We're women of strength, and God will supernaturally cause us to soar above every adversity, just like the eagles is able to soar through some heights. Come on, somebody. You know, God strengthens us to fight the good fight of faith. All right, so these women, you know, we endure. You know, we have endurance to finish the journey. Amen? That's right, you're coming up, prophesy over yourself. If you haven't shared yet, swipe and share, because somebody needs to hear this word. Somebody needs to hear this word. Amen. So swipe and share. So Psalms 31, 24, it says, be of good courage, you know, and God's going to strengthen your heart. Be a good courage and God's going to strengthen your heart. Listen to me. It's time to look, amen, at the mountain and say, move and be cast into the sea. Don't no, no longer look at the mountain and be like, oh, I'm scared. I can't do this. Ah, I have a tantrum. No, look at that mountain and say, be removed and cast into the sea. I'm going to be a woman of strength. I'm going to be a woman of courage. I'm going to fight the good fight of faith because I know I have God on my side. Who am I talking to today too? If I'm talking to you, say you're talking to me. You are talking to me. Come on now, somebody. Amen. I like interaction. Say you are talking to me. Come on now. That's right. So, you know, God will strengthen your heart and, and, and you know, and hope in the Lord and hope in the Lord. You know, I'm almost done, people of God. All right, so women of strength, we, we place our hope in God. 
Amen. A lot of people right now, you probably place your hope in a man, probably place your hope in a job, your career. I'm saying I want you to place your hope in me. You place your hope in me because you know no matter what you go through, no matter what hell and high waters you go through, you know if you got your hope on Jesus, woo! Jesus, you got some peace in that thing. You're going to make it. You're going to soar through those adversities and you're going to come out victorious. Come on, somebody. All right. So women of strength, I call, I'm calling you women of strength today. You're very optim optimistic about the future. You're very optimistic about the future. Somebody put that up there. We're prophesying. Matter of fact, hashtag somebody. You're, you're optimistic about your future. I am optimistic about your future. Put that up there. You're prophesying over somebody today because somebody just feels like nothing good will ever happen out of their life. Listen, when I was on probation, I didn't, I, I didn't think nothing good could ever happen out of my life. Amen. You know, but look, look. Look what God is doing in my life. Amen. I, I give God praise for that. I give God glory for that. That something good has happened out of my life. That's why I say I'm optimistic about my future. That's right. Listen, if you, you know, I, I went through a bad divorce. I, I, I was praying to God to die. I didn't think nothing good would ever happen out of my life. But, you know, God turned everything around. He, not only did he restore my joy, he restored my peace. He restored my hope. He restored my future. God is a God of restoration, so you need to be optimistic about your future. It's not time to fall apart. It's not time to have a pity party. It's not time to let those negative words, those haters, the words have a power and effect over you. I rebuke every negative word over our life, and I command it to be turned into a blessing now in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time to be, to be optimistic. Like, oh, I'm going to make it, Jesus. I'm going to make it, God. Amen. You know, God can turn your mess into a message. I know y'all heard that. It sounds cliche but that is the god-given truth all right you know some people used to be homosexual some people used to be a stripper some people used to be a prostitute some people used to be a drug addict some people used to be a thief a murderer but god can change you up and god can do something new that's why i wrote the book empowering the new me because you're a new creature in christ and all things are passed away i don't care what the haters say listen you know when i was in high school you know the, 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 a teacher come up to me and she said, you're never going to be nothing in life. I renounce that in the name of Jesus. It's time for you women of God to start renouncing some things. Some things, those words, those people, those negative haters, those people that spoke things over your life and say, you're not never going to be nothing. You're never going to amount to nothing. You're never going to do anything in life. Man, I renounce that stuff and send that back to the pits of hell. You know, listen. You, the teacher said we're not going to do nothing in my life. Man, I have, I'm one more class away from having my master's degree, somebody. I'm one more class from having my master's degree. You know, I got so many certificates underneath my belt. All right? You know, I was the president of three clubs in undergrad. I'm not, I'm no dummy, you know, uh, you know, I may not be as street smart as I want to be, but uh, you know, God bless God has got, got his hands on my life and he made me into to something. Amen. That's what somebody needs to hear. God is amazing. This is teacher trying to speak death over me, you know, and saying, you're never going to be anything. Listen, I'm an author. I've written 12 books. All right. God has blessed me to have my own publishing company and I'm getting ready to open that thing up. All right. So you guys, if you're not subscribed to my mailing list, I need you to go to my website and subscribe to my mailing list because I'm going to send you the invitation so you can get your book published. Amen. I'm going to help somebody else out. And that's what God is looking for. He's looking for people that want to help somebody else out he's looking for people that are not selfish he's looking for people that has the love of god on them amen he's looking for people that's going to help bring somebody else on uh, along and push somebody into their destiny to impart and to disciple to somebody amen this is what god is looking for do you hear what i'm saying to you so continue to do the right thing continue to you know be a conduit of god's blessings don't let nobody speak death over you don't let nobody speak uh negativity over you you're gonna make it you're going to make it. Amen. All right. God can do something amazing in your life. You know, here I was. All these negative curse words hanging over my head. You know, I have to renounce some things. I have to send some stuff back to the pits of hell. All right. Don't, don't let people that's jealous of you, envious of you, speak death, cur uh, death curses over you. I rebuke that stuff and I uproot that stuff and I send that stuff back to the pits of hell. In Jesus' name. You're going to make it. Somebody say, I'm going to make it on this piece. I'm going to make it. Come on now. I'm going to make it. Jesus. So, you know, even though we may be crushed from every side, we're, we're able to see the good in this thing. Amen. And listen to me. I just said something powerful. 
Even though you're crushed and feel like everything's closing in on you, nothing is going to work out, you're able to see something good in it. Because you're this is this is your mindset. This needs to be your mindset. Evidently, the enemy sees something good in my future. That's why he's trying to mess with me so much. My God. So you're able to stay optimistic. You're able to look at something. Amen. That's right, my God. Lord, so we just give you praise, God. So we know that at any moment, listen, I, I want to encourage you to be women of faith today. Not only women of strength, but women of faith. You know, that any moment, any moment, God does suddenly, God does, he, he does things miraculously, supernaturally, instantaneously. At any moment, God can step in and deliver you from your distresses. This needs to be your mindset. In a moment, in a moment. Listen, there's plenty of times you're looking at somebody, you know, I, I almost, I almost been homeless six times. And it was very distressing. You know, I had an eviction notice on my door two years ago. I didn't know where I was going to lay my head at. But I sought the face of God, and God gave me some peace in that thing. And he stepped in in a moment. I didn't ask anybody for anything. All I did was went to Abba, my father, God. Amen. And he, he gave somebody a dream of about me and they knew from that moment they had to help me who am I talking to today to listen you know keep on focusing on God keep on being in the right uh, posture because in a moment God can step in God will do it amen God knows your need God knows your need before you even come ask him God he sees your heart God sees your sacrifices the fasting the, 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 the praying God sees it all amen God sees it all so in a moment God can step in and change it amen I feel God on here I feel peace rising up that's what God can do that's right focus that's right focus on Christ amen so, women of strength. Amen. I'm sorry for the men on here. Amen. This is girl talk, but y'all can y'all can still stay on here. Amen. But women of strength, you are courageous. You are courageous because you know the Lord of hosts is fighting your battles. Amen. What does the Lord of hosts mean? When you hear hosts, that means the Lord of the angel armies. He is literally fighting your battles. Amen. He is fighting your battles. I need somebody to put up here. Amen. God is fighting my battles. You're literally prophesying over your situation that god is fighting your battles amen amen all right so god is fighting you. somebody say god is fighting my battles put it up here all right put it up here right now god is fighting for you somebody need to know this somebody just feel like weary today i, I rebuke weariness in jesus name you will not be weary you will not be weary in jesus name because god is fighting your battles all right so women of strength you are overcomers somebody you know, I like interaction. All right, I like you to put in work because, like I said before, you're gonna put a pull. You're gonna pull on that anointing, and the more you pull, the more God's gonna poop move. Amen. So somebody put up here. I'm an overcomer. I am an overcomer. Amen. I am an overcomer. Amen. That's right. You will not be weary and well doing because at the proper time you reap a harvest. Right? If you faint not. All right. So I'm an overcomer. So these women, we rely on God. And our heart is strengthened. And I prophesy that any ounce of fear breaks in Jesus' name. Fear has to flee in Jesus' name. All right? So we are overcomers. We're literally overcomers. We're going to make it. You know, some of the things you know, a lot of people can relate. You're in situations right now that don't even make sense in the natural. But God is a supernatural God. Amen? The super always supersedes the things of the natural. So what does that mean? So you may have lost your job and you don't you don't know how you're going to make it, but God is having a supernatural grace on your life. And you're making it every month. Amen. You know, for example, um, I know a pastor. He's 95 years old and he, his, he had a pacemaker in his heart and the doctors don't even know why he's making it, why he's still living. And the pace workers stop working. It, it don't work no more. But God is, his hand is on, on his life. So God is doing something supernatural. It don't make sense in the natural. You know, so I want to prophesy. My God, just get ready for supernatural grace to hit your life. Get ready to experience the supernatural. Get ready. You know, you're going to look back. Uh, God, I don't know how I'm making this, God. I, I don't know. It don't make sense. But I know it has something to do with you. I know because of your grace, your mercy, your favor on my life, I'm making it. Amen. So, women of strength, I'm almost done, people of God. You know, Isaiah, write this down. I need you to meditate on this. Isaiah 40 and 29, meditate on this. All right, God gives power to the faint. Amen. A lot of people right now, you feel like you're about to faint because the trials and the tribulations is too bad. You know, I want to prophesy God is giving you power right now in Jesus' name. And to them, they have no might. You know, you feel like you can't make it. You're not going to make it. You know, God is going to increase your strength, somebody. God is increasing your strength right now. All right. 
So there were times when I felt like I was going to make it. I felt like I was going to die. You know, I prayed to God to die, but God didn't let me. God never allowed me to faint somebody. Listen, God never allowed me to faint. I, I'm going to say that again. You're, you're looking at somebody, you know, I, I felt suicidal. The enemy is trying to torment my mind. Drive your car into the lake. Cut your wrists, you know, but I was crying out to God and God never allowed me to faint. That, that's a word for somebody. God is not going to allow you to faint. All right. So let me tell you what God did as I cried out to him when I was having those suicidal thoughts. He overwhelmed me with his peace. He overwhelmed me with his presence. And I prophesy, I feel God in this place so strong. People of God, I, I'm literally about to start bust, busting out in sweats because I, I feel the fire of God. I, I prophesy, hallelujah. Woo, just receive it, receive it, that God is giving you peace and that this presence on the scope is coming to your atmosphere. This presence is coming right now. In, in your environment, if you're in a car, that's right, feel it, feel it right now. If you're in a car, if you're at work, it's coming in your atmosphere in Jesus' name. Come on now, in, in Jesus' name. So I, I decree and declare, come on now. You're getting ready to feel so much peace. I decree peace upon you in Jesus' name. You're getting ready to feel so much peace. It's going to be powerful. Amen, you're not going to even sweat the small stuff. You're not going to fall apart. All right, so, you know, I, when I lost my secular job, I wasn't worried. Initially, I was, you know, God, I'm going to make it up. But I wasn't worried about um, what bills that I had to pay or, you know, who walked out of my life because God was with me. God was with me. Give God praise. My up, give God praise. I was literally resting in the presence of God. So once I let go of things that were out of my control, and that's what God is saying, he needs you to let go. Let go. Let go of some things that's out of your control. Once I begin to let go of some things, you know, out of my control, then I'll start receiving, hey, breakthrough at the breakthrough. Woo! I prophesy. You're getting ready to see breakthrough at the breakthrough, consecutive breakthroughs. All right. I start receiving some breakthroughs financially. You know, I start getting, you know, restoration in my life concerning relationships and stuff like that. So since that day, I knew Jesus was my rock. Somebody put that up there. Jesus is my rock. Put that up there. Somebody say, Jesus is my rock. You know, I prophesy you're getting ready to have some rock solid strength. You're getting ready to have some rock solid faith in Jesus name. That's right. Jesus is your rock. See, the enemy don't want you to know who you are in Christ. The enemy don't want you to have your trust in Jesus. The enemy don't want you to keep your eyes on Jesus. But somebody need to say Jesus is my rock. All right. So this this is the last scriptures I'm going to give you and I'm getting ready to pray. Amen. So, <clears throat> Psalms 29, 11, write this down, Psalms 29, 11, the word says the Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give strength to his people, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. This is a promise in the word of God. So right now, you may feel like you don't have strength, you're not going to make it, but the Lord says otherwise in this word. So we're going to come into agreement with the word of God. We're going to come into agreement with Psalms 29, 11. When you feel weak, you feel fatigued, battle fatigue, you feel like you're not going to make it, well, you're going to get in your word. I prophesy, you're going to say, God, you said in your word that you're going to give me strength. You're going to bless me, God, with peace. So women of strength, I prophesy, you're women of strength. You will not allow anything you will literally refuse for anything to steal your steal your peace away from you amen somebody said i refuse to let the enemy steal my peace come on i refuse to let the enemy steal my peace in jesus name i refuse it this has to be your mindset amen i don't know about you but i love my peace i love peace amen i love having <clears throat> the peace of god on my life you know some some crazy things will happen in my life but then even if i wanted to cry i can't cry I got so much peace. <laughs> Even if I wanted to fall apart, the comforter, Holy Spirit is our comforter. He will not let me fall apart. Amen. So somebody say, I refuse to let the enemy steal my peace. Come on now. That has to be your declaration. That means you're a woman of strength. You got to stand up. And I'm telling you, you're going to be bold and courageous. And you're going to say, Satan, get thee behind me. Amen. Get thee behind thee in Jesus' name. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. Get up out of here. You're not going to steal, you know, my peace. You, uh, uh I'm not going to settle. Amen. Uh, this, this is the time. This is the word for somebody. God saying, I need you to pray even more. I need you to fast even more. I need you to worship even the more. Amen. I need you to seek me even the more. In Jesus' name. So these women, they don't fall prey to the schemes of the devil. They don't fall prey to the schemes of the devil. They're able to discern demonic attacks behind the people. Amen. And adverse circumstances. 
you, all right? See, a lot of people, you want to attack the person, but let me tell you something, boo. There's, there's a demon, there's a devil behind that individual. So you're able, women of strength are able to look and recognize the devil. Say, come up out of him in Jesus' name, amen? Come up out of that individual. You know, they're able to recognize the attack on their finances as demonic because it seems like as soon as you try to step out and do what God wanted you to do, then the enemy tried to launch an attack against you. He couldn't kill you, so he tried to attack you elsewhere. He tried to attack your family, tried to attack your business, tried to attack your finances, tried to attack your vehicle. You know, it's crazy thing when you try to step out and do what God called you to do, but that breaks in the name of Jesus. The, the plans of the enemy are uh, thwarted and frustrated right now in Jesus' name. Amen. If you receive it, say, I receive it. I receive it. Come on, somebody. Say, you receive it in, in Jesus' name. All right. So, these women, women of strength, they know how to give God praise. Woo! Somebody give God praise up in this place. They know how to give God praise in this place. Amen. You know, during the tough times, they, they let's give God praise. It's many times, you know, I got some bad news. You know, lost, I thought I lost a friend. I'll cry in the shower. Woo! But I give God praise. Like, wow, Jesus. You know, see, the enemy, you know, he tried to attack your finances, your relationships, your material possessions. But I, I dare you, I triple dare you to give God praise. Woo! You know, during the, during the situation, amen. I, that's what I had to do. I start praising God. I know I look crazy in my living room, but I didn't say anything negative out my mouth. And God has blessed me so much, you know, with things that I didn't have at the time that I needed. You know, he will call somebody to come in my pathway and just to be a blessing to me. And I prophesy that same favor on my life is getting ready to come to your life. Amen. <laughs> People are going to come to you. Woman of God, what you need. Woman of God, you're a blessing to me. I just want to sow in your life. Woman of God. Amen. Amen. I decree it in your life in Jesus name. So I just had to give God praise like a, a mad lady, you know, in the shower. Ah, Jesus, it hurts. With tears in my eyes, it's praising God. Amen. All right. So, woo, God's favor is truly upon these women. Amen. His favor is upon them. Amen. Receive it. Who receives the favor of the Lord today? Receive it. In Jesus' name, receive it. Woo. So, his favor is upon us. I prophesy it. And he's able to mold us into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. All right. Hallelujah. So, I'm getting ready to pray. That's right. It's getting ready to happen. That's the word I got to release. It's going to happen. So, it's the Lord. Amen. I'm going to come back and do another periscope on that thing. All right, but I read out of this book, Empowering the New Me, 50 Tips to Becoming a Godly Woman. You know, this book is for my woman's conference next month, Colorado Springs, February the 25th. Please come out. It's going to be powerful. I got my one of my best friends coming, Star Nicole Loa. She's a makeup artist. Um, she's going to do a makeup demonstration, and we're going to give away a makeup basket. You know, we have like a raffle drawing, give away a makeup basket. All right, and we're going to preach. We've got some mighty speakers. They're going to testify. You know, I see, like I said before, I used to be an, an exotic dancer, but now I'm a woman of God. All right, so I, God gave me, he gave me 50 things to empower the women of God from all walks of life, and I, I want to share that with you. All right, I want to share that with you. All right, go on my website. I have t-shirts available for the conference. The t-shirt says empowering the new me as a high heel on it. You know, because I believe women of God, we still can look nice unto God. We still can wear lipstick unto God, eyeshadow unto God, put some weave in unto God, amen, some heels on unto God and still look good. You know, you don't have to, you know, look like who done it or you don't have to look like, you know, a plain Jane to serve God, amen, as long as you're modest. I mean, you could be modest, and I'm going to talk about that thing, all right? Well, I'm going to talk about modesty. I'm, I'm going to say that one for the conference, all right? But if you pre-order the book, I'll probably ship it out on Monday, all right? Because um, I got a few pre-orders in my inbox. So go ahead and pre-order that. It's going to come with a ministry pen with my logo on there um, and uh, anointed prayer cloth, all right? And many people have got the prayer cloth, and they receive impartation for healing and deliverance. They said, woman of God, you know, why are my hands heating up? Why are my hands on fire? Because that anointing on my life is tangible, all right? So, you know, be a blessing to the ministry. Pre-order the book, but I'm getting ready to pray. So, dear Heavenly Father... I magnify you, God. I repent of my sins. Lord God, I ask you to strengthen me in, in you, God. Lord, I, I, ask, I ask you, Father God, to strengthen us, God, in you, Jesus. The God, the decree and declare, we're going to lean on you, God. God, I prophesy we're going to fully trust you, God, with our whole heart, God. And God, I thank you for answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. So let me go over some of the things this book covers. The last time I did this book, we talked about holiness. But, you know, the Lord dealt with me on modesty, you know, virtuous, devoted to the Lord, strong prayer life, meditation, wisdom, strength. We just did strength today, endurance, ambition, zealous, zealous for God, righteousness, 
faithfulness, meekness, servanthood, successful, hopeful, submission, submiss I can't pronounce it, submissive, you know, motivator, great character, love. These women of God should have all these characteristics. Amen. Heart me up. Don't let this heart stop flowing. All right. We should be protectors, secret carriers, brilliant trendsetters, determined, faithful, domestic, resilient, patient, humble, optimistic. We talked a little bit about that today. Peaceable, obedient, visionaries, great leaders, anointed, team players or builders to advance the kingdom, holy, innovative, trustworthy, joyful. We should be honest. We should have some self-control. We need to be confident. We need to be uh, be knowledgeable of our purpose. Come on, somebody. We need to be stable. Amen. In our emotions and just, you know, uh, appreciative, uh, good listeners, supportive and respectful. All right. So these are the, some of the things. 50 things that the Holy Spirit has given me. All right. So, whew, one more thing I want to announce. Um, I'm probably prophesy to like one or one or two more people and I'm getting ready to get off. But sign up for the glory gathering. You got to the 15th, March the 15th. And the glory gathering is a cruise. It's going to be powerful. Five day cruise in the Bahamas. Sign up. It's a $50 registration. Um, you have to pay by March the 15th. Sign up. You know, go to the link on go to the link on the flyer or go to my website and sign up um call aisha the cruise agent and go ahead and put your payment that's right that's right i can't wait to meet you taniqua i can't wait to meet you it's gonna be fun it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be a powerful move of god amen um i'm gonna prophesy to everybody on there you know um i've got some powerful guest speakers um pastor jennifer jones a lot of y'all know her from pastor scope and i share her a lot um prophetess Latasha Moses, yeah, go. You you got to, yep, you got to the fifteenth. All right, well, I love to see you there. You got to the fifteenth to, to register, uh, March the fifteenth. All right, but you can make payments on the on the trip as well. We got Prophetess Tiana Norman, Prophetess Star Nicole Loa, powerful anointed women of God. All right, I know God has given them a message. You know, and and men can come too. Men can come too. All right, it's gonna be awesome. So I want to see you there, and please do me a favor. Please swipe and share. Yeah, I pray for guys all the time. You know, God is not a sexist. God is not a racist, and I know, neither am I. Amen. So, um, I need you to help me swipe and share. Yes, you know, you you can make payments as well. You you can pay pay like fifty dollars every month. Put it to the side, and you know, come on the cruise. But God is good. And also, um, School of the Prophets. I got four more slots left. I'm believing God for four more students. All right, so if you want me to mentor you and you want some prophetic training, a course that's going to teach you how to flow with Holy Spirit, um, I need you to sign up for that. Amen. Sign up for that. It's a two months course. And every other every other week, you will meet with me and I'll speak in your life. That's at the Lord. All right, it's going to be awesome. And then, yes, yeah, sign up. I'm telling you, the second, February the 2nd. And this might be the last class I do for a while because I'm getting ready to branch out on other things. Um, like the, the publishing company, the publishing business and stuff like that. And I, you know, I really want to walk in the spirit of excellence. So I want to give that a hundred percent. All right. The next thing, if you just want a prophetic intensive, if you don't want to be with me for two months, maybe you just want to be with me for one day, like a four hour course, you know, I might teach for five hours. I don't know, but it depends on how God leads me. You know, I do have a prophetic webinar, prophetic summit. You know, it is a $50 registration fee, but you'll get a thick packet of information, really, really thick. You know, you'll get um, a lot of things, a lot of activations and hands-on training. It is fun, and I'll be giving away some stuff. All right, some of the books and stuff that I've written. Um, so go ahead and sign up for that. That one is February the 10th at 9 a.m., 9 a.m. All right, for my or early morning people, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be powerful. It's going to be three to four hours, maybe even maybe, maybe even more. All right. And sign up for the Women's Conference, amen? Register for the Women's Conference for next month, Empowering the New Me. Go to my website, you know, you'll see that. Sign up for that, amen? It's going to be awesome. All right, so uh, what else do I want to say? All right, so who needs prayer? I'm going to pray for like two people and I'm going to get off of here. Who needs prayer? Who can I pray for? A thick 19... Thix, 1977, what's your name? Tell me your name, Thix, 1977. Um, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're sick on here, if you lay, lay hands, Lynn, okay, hold on, Lynn. For those who's sick on here, if you have a headache, you know, 
And I feel it from the left side when I looked at you. I just felt it on the left side. Right now, I bind a strong man of affirmity and I set forth the fire God in Jesus' name. Right now, I set forth the fire God in Jesus' name. And, and if your name is uh, Sharice, I don't know if you're Sharice Albrighton, but I, I gave you the word of the Lord, but you got to watch the replay, you know, because I don't know if, you, if, you're, if you're the one that emailed me, but I did give you the word of the Lord. All right, I, I did give you that earlier. All right, but I sent forth the fire God to heal the headache. And the one that said they had headaches, um, I feel the, the fire on my head for you. In, in Jesus' name, you're being healed right now. I, I, that pain breaks in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Lynn, God, we just thank you for Lynn, her life. Lord God, and it's like you're almost worried about your ministry, your calling, and your, your destiny, but I rebuke that. Uh, in the name of Jesus, no worry. In the name of Jesus, listen, the Lord's going to lead you on the right path. The Lord's going to connect you with the right people. You're going to know who you are. I'm telling you, hallelujah. Matter of fact, woman of God, you have a strong deliverance anointing on your life. I don't know anything about you, Lynn. You know, you're able to see things. Hallelujah. You say you am, and I don't know what to do. Amen. Listen, listen to the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Just receive. Um, you know, you have a you have a strong deliverance anointing on your life, and it's almost like the Lord will deal with you, Lynn, in in the area of sight. All right, so you're able to see some things that most people don't see. You're looking around like God, why nobody will see this except for me? Um, so God, I thank you, God, for the oh my God, spirit of the sermon even now. Listen, Lynn, you know I need you to lift hands because. God is on you right now. Amen. The presence of God is upon you even now. God is saying, daughter, daughter, because you made contact today, he, he says this, this presence right now is going to go into your room. Right now, wherever you are, Lynn, he's going to touch you from this day. You're going you're gonna to begin to feel his presence on another level. You're going to feel his presence. And the, and the Lord says, I, I speak to you, daughter, even in dreams. I speak to you. And listen, it's like your mind is confused, but I rebuke that off of you in the name of Jesus Clarity and direction is coming to you in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is calling you a pastoral grace. You have a pastoral grace upon your life. And I'm not saying you're going to have a, a church, but you, uh, you, you're a person that, like a pastor anointing. And you're able to take people underneath your wings and protect them and sh shepherd them. Amen. You're able to recognize the wolf. Amen. And when you see the wolf coming, you want to take your staff like a shepherd and get away from my flock. Amen. And that's how you are. You mothering, uh, protector, uh, guardian, you know, and I see that so strong when your life is all over you. Amen. And the air and, and, and the Lord will deal with you in the area concerning, uh, she said, yes. And it's making sense to God be the glory for prophetic accuracy. And even the Lord will deal, you, deal with you in the area of teaching. Amen. So when the Lord will raise you up, um, and you're going to work for some people, some international preachers, with pe preachers with big platforms. And sometimes when they go away, they will raise you, um, they will literally earn you and they will raise you up to be in a place, a position, a place of, uh, authority to help pastor the, 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 the their flock, pastor the people in, in the congregation when they go out and they travel. But the Lord will deal with you in the area of teaching. So you'll begin to start teaching. I see you in a room, like a little, little room. You, um, you'll begin to start teaching. You know, maybe it'll start off like Sunday school. Maybe it'll start off, you know, the Lord will deal with you to start teaching like uh book clubs or something like book clubs or something like that. So you'll begin to begin to start teaching like like small groups of bit like matter of fact you know, even raise up your own book club. Amen. Matter of fact the Lord is gonna even deal with you to start uh launching forth in ministry, launching forth on the prayer line. Amen. You it's like you saw a phone flash before I'm seeing a phone flash before my eyes. You it's like you see a phone flash before yep, you're gonna teach Bible study. You pray to teach Bible it's gonna happen. I don't know anything about you, Lynn. All right, but the Lord will start dealing with you, and He won't say, "Daughter, uh, speak." I, 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 I break lupus off of you in Jesus' name. Uh, do something, woman of God. Hold on, Lynn. You know when uh, when people, I see people that need healing. I just gotta flow with the Holy Spirit. All right, I break lupus off of you in Jesus' name. I need you to get up and activate your faith. I buy, if you're sick right now, just get up and activate your faith because the healing anointing is here. Amen. I need you to get up. I bind up the strong man of affirmity. I send forth the fire of God upon you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Get up right now. Send forth the fire of God. Amen. Do something to activate your faith and watch God. Amen. I break every negative curse word off of you, uh, Chosen Mongol 7. And what's your name, woman of God? What's your name, Chosen Mongol? Don't go anywhere. 7. All right. So, Lynn, you're, you're, you're going to begin to like start uh, 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 Tracy. That's right. Tr Tracy, is it Anderson? I've been seeing you around. Is it Tracy Anderson? Is that you, woman of God? Okay, okay, don't go anywhere. I, I, I'm gonna do you next. All right, 
So we're going to get you healed today, amen. You know, God has healed p people lupus in this ministry before. So I, I'm, I'm excited about your praise report. All right. So Lynn, he, God will even deal with you for the area, um, the area, um, like, um, uh, what is that? Prayer line, you know, don't be afraid. He says, uh, people not calling in. The more you stay faithful, the more he'll send the people. He's encouraging you to stand out. Um, like let, let your light shine. You know, the shyness has to go in Jesus name and you're going to be more bold. Amen. You're not going to be hesitant to speak. Um, you're going to be more authoritative. Amen. You tried once before, try it again. Hallelujah. Try it again. The word of God says the righteous may fall seven times, but they get back up again. Try it again. Hallelujah, God. And I just thank you, Lord God, for Lynn's life. And I thank you for her ministry. And Lord God, and I thank you that she'll walk in destiny from this day forward. Amen. And even right now, you know, I want you, Lynn, to lay hands on your belly, woman of God. Lay hands on your belly. Amen. You're getting ready to get impartation. I don't know what God's going to impart to you. You need impartation. God's saying, I'm birthing a new word in you. It's been on your heart. Amen. See, God reveals heart's desires. All right. So I send forth right now the fire of God right now. Lay hands on your belly. Obey the prophet. Amen. Um, I set forth the fire of God right now. God is birthing uh, a word in you. And matter of fact, even as I said that, I saw chapters. You know, like a book. A chapter. And I pray for restoration upon uh, sh sh shelter in Nam's life. I decreed in your life. Amen. And God said he'll restore you because you've been faithful. All right. So listen. Um, I see chapters. Amen. I don't know if you've been... God has been dealing you with, with a book, but I literally saw chapters. God's going to deal with you, deal with you. I saw like chapters of pages being flipped in the realm of the spirit. I see that in Jesus' name. Amen. But I, your, your belly's on fire. I feel your belly heating up, Lynn. Amen. Let me know if you feel that anointing in your belly because God is dealing with you. Uh, and he's giving you word right now. He's giving you a download of word. Yeah, he told you to write a book. Yep, you got book in that belly. Amen. And God is birthing that book out and in your belly right now in Jesus' name. There's a book being birthed right now. And on my life, I have a scribal anointing. I can write a book just like that, you know, but uh, it's me that slows myself down, you know, and try to be balanced because I thank God for one of my best friends. He's keeping me balanced in life, trying to keep me balanced. So God is good. Woo, Jesus. All right, but you want to feel fire in your belly? All right, Tracy. Amen. If you receive it, say, I receive it. Amen. And invite followers. Amen. So, Tracy, woman of God. Hallelujah. Ha. Huh. Okay. Now, when I told you to stand up, what did you feel on you, woman of God? Did you feel anything? Did you feel God's presence? Amen. Thank you for saying that, uh, Prophet Jordan. Amen. I, I, I bind up lupus in Jesus' name. Amen. I bind up lupus in Jesus' name. Satan, the Lord rebukes you in Jesus' name. Amen. I bind up infirmity. Lupus breaks off of you in Jesus' name. I send forth the fire, God, to touch Tracy from her head to her feet in Jesus' name. And God, I decree that she will be healed today. Lord God, I thank you, God, for healing anointed to manifest. God, you said in your word, if I pray of faith, it can make the sick well right now. So God, I thank you that you're overwhelming her, God, with your presence. God, I thank you that you're overwhelming Miss Tracy, God, with your fire in, in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Tracy, what do you feel on your back? You're standing. Hallelujah. Amen. What do you feel in your back? I, I feel on feeling it's like heat and stuff all over your back. Amen. I sent forth the fire of God on, on her right now in the name of Jesus. I speak right now to her immune system. I command it to normalize now in Jesus' name. My God. And I thank you, Father God, for healing on the woman of God's body. I renounce every negative curse word she spoke out of her mouth. Every negative curse word the doctor spoke. You receive it. Amen. You receive it. Amen. I prophesy. Hallelujah. I, every loop is on here. Even if your family members have lupus, it breaks in Jesus' name. I speak a healing right now. I command healing to manifest now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I give you praise. God, I give you praise. All right. So, God, we just pray for Tracy. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. That she continue to be encouraged. Lord God, everything she pours out to your people, she just a giver, 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 giver. And recently, Tracy, it's like you almost had some takers, some takers, some takers. But God says, getting ready to cut that off. It's like some people just want to leech onto you and just take, 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 but they're not giving back to you. But God wants me to encourage you, Tracy. It's going to put people around you to pour into you, people around you that's going to support the vision. 
tension, you know, some jealousy around you, some enviness, uh, envy, envy around you. People say you're not going to make it. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you've been having headaches, but I literally felt something inside of my right head and my right side. But I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I speak to the pain. It has to break off of you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. You, I'm telling you, I want to even call you a world renowned, a world renowned Arthur. My God, a world renowned Arthur. I don't even know if you even wrote a book. Oh my God, hallelujah. And I, when I look at you, Tracy, I, I, I see manuals being put together. Manuals, manuals. The Lord's getting ready to deal with you to put manuals together for his people. Something God's going to deal with you is a specialty. Something that you went through, the abuse, the heartache. The Lord will cause you to write some kind of manuals for his people. Oh my God, and it's going to be such in demand, such in demand. I see libraries in the spirit. I see libraries in the spirit. They're going to want these manuals that the Lord will have you to even write. So God, I give you praise for that in the name of Jesus. And I'm even looking at a car. I don't know if you need a car or you something's wrong with your car or that's what you believe in God for. But I'm looking at a car. So God, I thank you, Father God, that her needs will be met in the name of Jesus. You say you need a car. Yes, you say yes. But I'm looking at a car in the spirit. You need a new car. God, I decree it. I command it to come forth now. I see it so clearly, Tracy, in the realm of the spirit. Amen. I see it. So I'm looking at a car. My God, I can't make the color out right now. But it's, it'll, it'll come to me if God reveal it to me. I, I see a car, like a, a form of a car, but I don't know the exact color. God, and, and I hear the words blue. It's like you're sitting in your car. Amen. God, I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it's like a blue car. I heard the word blue. So I want to say a blue car. Um, maybe the Lord will give you a blue car or a blue type car. I don't know. But God, I give you praise, Lord God, for her life. I thank you, God, for her talent. Um, you're, you're so talented, Tracy. Amen. You know, it's almost like the enemy wants to shut your voice up, but you're so talented. You know, because I see even even in the, even in this season right now, um, the Lord will cause your voice to be heard even the more. He will cause your voice to be heard even the more. You know, I'm telling you, the Lord's getting ready to connect you with three. I see like three women, three powerful women. I see you being connected to, and they're they're gonna favor you, and they're gonna um bring you onto a different kind of platform. You know, a different kind of audience than what you're used to. You know, I see people from all nations. I see um, Caucasian. I see um, like Indian type people from the, the country of India. And I also see like, you know, some Hispanic people as well. But the Lord will cause you to minister to. You know, don't even let people put you in a box. Amen. You know, because God, like I said, God is not... Um, He's not racist. Amen. I'm not saying you're racist, but I'm just saying it's, you know, people want to have a black church, white church, but God is not yet a global. That's right. That's a better word, global. Amen. You know, God will use all, all kind of people um, that you'll be able to uh, mentor to and minister to. I see that for you in the name of Jesus. And, you know, I'm looking at you at the table and it's like you're going to be on a panel list. Get ready, Tracy. You know, somebody's going to give you a call. You're getting ready to be on some panel list or something. I see a panel list, you know, like a table and he has like a little mic. And it's like a panelist or something like that. So God, I just give you praise, Lord God, for um, that coming forth in the name of Jesus. And just bless her with her heart's desires in Jesus' mighty name. And I prophesy, even right now, I'm in the doctor's office. And I see the physician with the white coat. And I see the clipboard. And I see him flipping through the pages or flipping through your chart. I'm looking at it right now. And I'm seeing test results that says negative. I want to prophesy, you're getting ready to get a negative test report test results amen and i decree it so i need you woman of god to activate your faith and listen to me you know i need you to do something you know i want to prophesy for the next i see 28 amen I, I was it is this year leap year um i, I don't know if, is this year leap year for february because i see february uh, i see february like 28th on there like 28th is it leap year is it 29 days or 28 days I see leap, like, uh, not leap year, but I see 28. I want to prophesy and just take communion for the next 28 days and decree your healing. Amen. So we have 29 days this year. Amen. What's, uh, I don't know, I saw 28, but it's February. You know, so I want to say 28 days. Amen. Um, just take the communion daily. Amen. And I, I, I believe that, you know, I saw a negative r report in the spirit. I believe that you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. So is it 28 days or 29 days this month for February? For February. Somebody says 28? Okay. So I'm going to prophesy that that month is something significant is going to happen to you. Amen. 28 days for February. Amen. It's going to be a good month for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, people of God. I'm going to rest up now. I'm going to go ahead and start packing up.
books and stuff like that and packing up oils for those who sow in the ministry. You know, if you want um, some anointed oil, go to my website, sow a seed. Or you want an anointed prayer cloth, go ahead and sow a seed. I'm getting ready to pack up a bunch of stuff right now and go to the post office later. All right. I love you guys. God bless. Talk to you soon.